you it is yo, yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're even going to be going over the five new tacos that did get released in NBA 2K22 my team today as well as the six J.R. Smiths including Denver Nugget, J.R. Smith, do get New York Nick, J.R. Smith, as well as, again, the Denver Nuggets version of the endgame, J.R. Smith. So I'm honestly pretty excited about these cards today. First of all, on J.R. Smith is we haven't seen J.R. Smith all year long, so it's our first J.R. Smith card, and most of them are point guards as well. So you've got that going for me. And as far as Taco is concerned, here's the deal, guys. We got a center power forward. We got a small forward shooting guard and then another center power forward guard for Taco. Now, I don't know. I'm just nervous because I'm, I held on to my Taco on the No Money Spent Squad series. And I'm just nervous he lost all his value, which he already did. He was going for like 40,000 MT last night. Now, let's start it off with J.R. Smith and as we dive into it, guys. If you are new to the channel, man, make sure to smash that subscribe. But we're on the road towards 100,000 subscribers. J.R. Smith here. Shooting guard, small forward. 6'6", six, 6'10", six, six, wingspan, odd spots, February 35, all the favors, 28 on gold. I mean, for a My Team Anniversary card, this card is solid. The interior defense does scare me a little bit. I mean, but he's probably going to be the cheapest version of J.R. Smith. Jump shot, 49 on very quick, normal leaner, quick dribble style, Kobe size of escape, James Harden, move by the back. I'm liking what this card's got, and I'm not saying he's going to be the best shooting guard in the game, because I don't even think he's going to be better than a guy like Richard Jefferson, but my whole thing is this, I feel like he's going to be able to compete decently, right, at that shooting guard position, he's going to be able to compete decently, be a fun card to use, now is he the best J.R. Smith in the game, no, we get Origin J.R. Smith, and this is where you take the big step, 6'6", six, 6'10", six, six, wingspan, odd spots from everywhere, 50 out of favors, 24 on gold, and I mean, this is the J.R. Smith that is basically the invincible J.R. Smith. You got to give him brick wall, but outside of that, the card is nearly perfect, okay? Tendency-wise, great. 49, very quick. Normally, again, same dribble six. The hard and behind the back is, is going to be something that's fun to use. Six, 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 ten 10 weeks, man, at that point guard position. If this card is relatively cheap, let's say, I, I don't know, 40,000 MT, he is very, very, very good for that price. I mean, he, he is, and we've got to understand that. Like, J.R. Smith, for that price... Gonna be one of the best point guards in the entire game. Then we get Dunked Over J.R. Smith. Now, I don't know why we're getting a J.R. Smith like this, and then we're also getting an invincible J.R. Smith. This card might may as well be the invincible. I mean, he has 60 Hall of Famers. He can play the point guard position. He's nearly perfect. You still gotta give him brick wall. I understand that. But outside of the brick wall badge, he's got everything else. Quick drop dunks, quick dribble style. What else do you want out of J.R. Smith is my question. Then we get Invincible JR at the shooting guard position. Obviously, 99. Everything does come with brick walls. So you don't have to give it to him. But I'm telling you guys, if you want a JR Smith like this, just get either of these two JR Smiths. These two JR Smiths are going to be just fine. Then obviously, Invincible JR that can play the point guard position. The only difference I see is the tray size of escape. Now, I know a lot of people love the tray size of escape. For me personally, I like the Kobe size of escape better. And so for me personally, if you like the Kobe size of escape, heck, run these cards down here. I mean, he's got the tray size of escape. I guess there's both of these cards of the tray size of escape. Okay. So for me, I'm running the Origin JR. That's me because I like the Kobe size of escape just that little bit more. Now, again, that is my personal opinion. If you like the tray size of escape, it's going to take the Dunktober JR and or both Invincible JRs. Now, again, it is personal preference. I honestly wish he had kept, uh, this is my opinion, I wish he would keep the Kobe size of escape just because that's what I like more. Now, end game JR does have jump shot through a very quick Rudy upper tray leaner, quick dribble style, Steph size up escape with the Scotty moving by the back and quick drops off one. So what I would say is this, this JR Smith obviously is the best, but if you're fine with jump shot 49 and you like the tray escape more, you might want to run the Invincible JR. I honestly like what they did with the JR Smiths because they're all different, right? We've got Jump Shot 49 or Jump Shot 3. Then we got the Kobe size of Escape, the Trey size of Escape, and then the Steph size of Escape. And on some of these good JR Smiths, you do see the Scotty Pippen behind the back, whereas on this JR Smith, I do believe it is the Harden behind the back. For me, I feel like this JR Smith for his value is the one I'm going to get. But it is, again, personal preference for what you guys want. Taco Fall up next, 7, 6, 8, 4, Wingspan. This Taco Fall right here 
is a better version, at least from what I'm seeing right now, of the Galactic TAC. I mean, they're pretty similar. The one thing I see is the hotspots. He's got hotspots for where this taco doesn't. And so that's the difference. If you held on to the Galactic Taco, can you still run him? I mean, you can, but there's no use. This taco is going to be dirt cheap, and he is going to be up there with being one of the best centers in the game. Especially for his price, he is going to be one of the best centers if the, in the game, if not the best center in the game. So, just briefly telling you guys, yeah. If you held the bag on Galactic Taco like myself, you're in for a struggle. Flash Glitch Taco, if this card is a buyout, he's better than Yao. I, 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 and, and I'm not talking about Endgame Yao, I'm talking about Invincible Yao. This Taco is better than Invincible Yao, and I don't even think it's particularly close. Now, what I will say is, is he better than Endgame Yao? I mean, because of his player model, you can maybe make that debate. He doesn't have, uh, obviously, as good of a release. But everything else, I mean, he's going to have. And obviously, his player model is better. I'm telling you guys, if this card is a buyout, he is an absolute steal. I'm throwing that out there for you guys right now. If this card is a buyout, absolute steal. This card's one of the best cards in the entire game. Small forward shooting guard Taco. Here's the deal, guys. Taco can play small forward. Shooting guard, I don't know about because he still is not going to be able to dribble that well. I know he's got good dribble six, but he's seven six. So he's not going to be able to handle the ball that well. But at the small forward position, I do think he would be able to hold it down, right? I mean, he's still going to play lanes, stuff like that. So if you do want to try out Taco at that small forward position, here's your chance. You do get an out of position Taco. That is an absolute cheese ball in my team. Invincible Taco, guys. There's not much of a difference between this Taco and the Glitch Taco. So this is probably going to be the worst value Taco. I mean, again, if we look up this, the differences between this Taco and the Glitch Taco... There's really not much here. I mean, there's a few stats and, and badges and, and stuff like that. But again, guys, there's not enough here for me to be like, dang, the Invincible is that good. Just get the Flash Glitch Taco. They're basically the same cards. Endgame Taco, obviously going to be the best center in the game. What release did they give him? Set Shot 25. That's what I figured they'd give him. Again, Dribble 6, great. Quick Drops, the best card in the game. And I, I told you guys this last night. Yao's time as the best card in the game was really short-lived it was and i mean I, I think it is too early to drop taco but i guess it is mid-july i can't even sit up here and tell you guys you know it's way too early this breaks to get the game has been broke in general guys any of these tacos are probably top 10 cards in the game and maybe that's gassing it i i, I just taco is taco man i mean the galactic taco was a top two center in the game and now you're giving him with his 60 hall of famers a better three ball i mean come on man and for jr smith here i think this is the one for budget players if you do like the kobe size of escape to look at obviously if you want the different dribble sticks if you want the tray size of escape this is the one i would look at so the dunk tober if you do like the tray size of escape probably is going to be the best budget option for me it's the origin and again, guys, for Taco, I mean, the My Team Anniversary for Budget Ballers is absolutely incredible. But for anything over it, I'm looking at the Flash Glitched Taco is probably the best value taco that did come out today. Best card in the game, Endgame Taco. A really good point guard is uh, really any of these JRs is good, solid point guards in my team. I'm just excited because everybody can get Taco now. And I can't wait for this moment that is going to come with Luka Doncic. If I learned a lesson, it's, I mean, I guess it's to use whoever you want, but if you held the bag for Taco, man, it's really going to be a struggle. That's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new and as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.